The Fulham project is another stadium project which poses different problems. If you haven't got the right people on the project, then health and safety measures can be sometimes overlooked. So I think when people know that you've got Severfield on the job, when it comes to erecting steelwork, where the front runners in Severfield UK are going to be one of the best people on the job. Severfield have been involved in many iconic projects, many stadiums, been involved in the likes of Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur. We treat all projects the same, but what I would say around stadiums, we need to take it to the next level. Fulham in particular is, is slightly different. A lot of the problems are the logistics of the site in that uh, the Craven Cottage is quite an old football ground in, in sort of the back streets of West London. It's a very lightweight structure, it consists of four steel cores and the terrace steel work which predominantly has been done at Dalton and then it's got the rear columns and the roof trusses which has been done at Lostock. It's not a particularly big job tonnage wise, it's only 2,600 tonne but it's obviously very complicated with the restraints of the river, the pitch. On a lot of the stadiums we've done, you've got big areas like this where you can get cranes, you can get plant, you can get your deliveries and everything. With with Fulham, it's totally different because of the location that it's in to get that amount of steel work erected. The logistics side of things is pretty immense, let's say. We have three different locations for delivery material. One's the Greenwich Dock, one's Tilbury Dock, and one is straight to the site. Obviously, there's a lot of pre-construction work at Tilbury, and then we're floating steel work down the barge. So we have to prepare the loads and make sure that they're 24 hours in advance to be able to put onto the barge and get to site to be erected by the site team. Where we are at the moment, Tilbury, we're pretty much at the beginning of the River Thames and the Fulham is all the way up, up river past pretty much every bridge on the Thames. So in terms of towing to sites, we have to navigate past every bridge along that route. There's two things really when planning something like this for a barge. One is the passage itself. Um, in which we do navigational risk assessments, uh, we develop passage plans which are specific documents which monitor the tide height and the timings that this tow needs to get to each bridge to make sure we've got enough underkill clearance, enough overhead clearance as well. As you can appreciate that's a moving datum, the Thames is constantly ebbing and flowing, uh, you get two high tides, two low tides a day. This tow will take about five hours to get to site once it gets round to Tower Bridge. So constantly that datum that we're using as our mark is changing. So we need to make sure that we know at each bridge what level the tide has to be to make sure we're not going to either hit above or hit below. A lot of planning goes into it and you need to get the right people at the right time, make sure everything is in place before you attempt to do such a work. I always tell people, with the kind of work we do, there is no second chance. So we need to get it right from the beginning. It's like any construction project, it's always a team effort. Um, everyone brings something to the table. You know, you rely on a lot of different people to make something like this happen. There's multiple things that can go wrong in a business like this. I mean, there's so many moving parts. That's why there's a lot of focus around the teams working together and having these specialists in their own departments who have a, a wide understanding of what's actually going to be coming their way. There's multiple things that can go wrong, but we have the experts in place to stop it going wrong. And when the steel arrives on site, the site team offload the steel and erect that safely, efficiently and as quickly as they can, and then they hand that over to the, to the follow-on trades. The crane's located at the back and they need to be able to pick it up. So we wanted to keep on programme with the project and we started building out from the bottom. So you build up and then build out and then your roof truss is in the centre. So that's bringing it in on a barge, picking it up from the back of the stadium and then swinging it into place. It's the, probably the most important thing. Obviously we want everyone to go home safely at the end of the shift. We do everything we can right from the 
all the different departments from design and drones to put safety in. We put handrails, edge protection, permanent lifting points so we don't have any accidents. Uh, the safety department audit the site every week. The site managers walk around. All the PPE is provided for the guys. So yeah, safety is the number one priority. I'm proud of working on projects like this. You know, these are the projects that you want to work on, and I think I think you could ask anyone in those offices that, you know, these are the, the projects that they want to talk about when they get out and work. I've been a big football fan. Working on a football stadium, it's it's a positive because I'll be able to see the outcome when I'm watching the football. Britain, my missus don't like it. Britain tell her to deal. Look, you can see where we building. You know, what I mean, that's what we're doing. We're doing that there. So it is quite good. You know, what I mean, it is. It's good that we work on prestigious jobs, and it's like it's nice working on complicated job. I think you get a bit more satisfaction out of such things as uh, a stadium and large bridges, bridges and complex structures. From a safety point of view, I find joy every time we complete a project, no one gets hurt, no one gets injured. That's my fulfillment. Because 10 years down the line, you not know the share prices, but you know if someone was hurt or someone was badly injured on a project. So my, from my point of view, what gives me gratification is Everyone comes to work and goes home safely. Yeah. Every new structure we do is a new challenge. So when you get that new challenge, you focus on that, you finish it, and you walk away and you go, that's another one done, another one on the list that you've achieved. I think we like to see ourselves as, as the leading structural company for Stadia. And this is just another one on the portfolio for, for structures that will uh, complete successfully. You know, we are, we are the biggest in the UK and we are the best in the UK, so, you know, it's just proud to be working for Summerfield. <laughs>